guys are just determined. All these kids deserve a spot to be on the Tiger Muay Thai team. Such a hard decision to make. What a workout. These guys had a big, big Buddha run the same morning they had a grappling tournament. <laughs> we ran the Sankran scramble. These guys had about an hour, hour and a half turnaround to get some breakfast and get some fluids in them before I asked them to come back to camp. We weighed him in and we drove him over to O2 Beach Club and uh, right there on the waterfront, a nice cool in-ground pool with a bar and food and all that kind of stuff. So they had all the distractions there. They were definitely wanting to get out and enjoy stuff, but they had that tournament sitting in front of them. It's a Jiu-Jitsu Open, so a lot of other guys from, from other gyms, they came in and competed and competed against our guys who just went through three days of craziness and then dish, had just a big Buddha run and still had to grapple with these guys. That was nice because you can see the guys stand, fight stand up, Jiu Jitsu, was nice submission. Uh, it's not points, only submission work. It was horrible. Everyone was beat up, sore and wanted to, it to be over. I wanted to just do the run and be done with it. We had to do the Jiu Jitsu tournament, which was like another all day event. Some of the guys had really big brackets, but overall, awesome success. The tryout guys really performed well considering the workouts that they had been through. Most all of them had two, three, and sometimes four matches. The night before, all of us coaches met. You know, we had the photos and their profiles and the notes we'd taken through the week. We tried to narrow everything down and we we're trying to kind of vet these guys and, and put them into a top group and you know see what was going to happen. Well, we kind of had four unanimous guys. We had two or three guys kind of on that cusp. And we had a guy, because of the Sankan scramble and his performance, actually leapfrogged the guys that were in the bubble and actually took that fifth spot. Four guys that we had pegged performed very, very well. Thankfully, we didn't have to go back and, and redo all of our voting. We were, we were correct in our assumptions. Man, it was really good. It was very good for us, instructors, because uh, we had choice one boy before. And the competition, man, he started, bah, bah, he started the first fight, he win. Second fight, he win. Third fight, he win. And then he come, bah, he do it. Our instructors said, hey, you see that guy? You see that guy? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? So it was very important for us, this competition for you. You see who the very good fight, you know? And we take one out and we put him, choice him. Yes, my first Jiu Jitsu That was the last thing we did, so I was really tired. We both had four matches before that. Me and George were in the final, and yeah, we beat. You know, we had a stacked division as well, and you know, I had to wrestle some really good guys, and I got over him. I think that impressed him. He's very strong, so he has like you know a good center of gravity, and definitely harder to take people down. But it was fun. I won the jiu-jitsu tournament wrestling. I call it grappling because wrestling is an art form of grappling. There in the competition, everybody tried to, to win. No? Everybody tried to win, everybody tried to show uh, his skill. He tried to show uh, I'm a good fighter, I'm here. I know that I have a hard time this week, but I'm still here, I gotta compete. I'm f that's the, the hard for fight, you know. That's the war, and I gotta go to war, no problem. I gotta keep it going. I don't care, you know, you gotta kill me, but I keep it going, I don't give up. For us, we don't care, you have to show hard, you know, you have to show how you do, you know, there.
операция сложная была. Очень много, любой из парней может остаться, поэтому там очень трудно даже думать, пойду я или нет, потому что все равны. These trials, I like the grind, physical conditioning, Muay Thai sessions, wrestling sessions, yeah, it's very good. I like that, I like the grind. When we were first meeting all these new guys, obviously we knew they were here for the tryouts and it, it was a little bit hostile, you know, the conversation was like, you know, where you from, what's your fight record? And that was about it, you know, everyone was just trying to like scope each other out. But then um, we got put through some really hard sessions together and I think it really brought us together. They're in the same workouts, these are the only people they're able to talk to and they didn't look at it like, oh, that guy could take my spot or he's my main competition because he's my weight class. They really did kind of merge, come together. I'm very glad that they took that upon themselves and, and bonded that way. <laughs> what a <laughs> quickly that even. They weren't really competing against each other anymore. They were just more so helping each other, they were pushing each other. These guys just started to, to bond as, as teammates. We know, all know what we're there for. Hating somebody ain't gonna get you in the team, so if you're good enough, you'll get there, so there's no real tricks to it. During the workout, it's like, there was a lot of camaraderie, you know, especially the Muay Thai workout, you know, it was kind of hard and everybody was, kind of came together there to finish strong. And there definitely was a camaraderie, and still is, because everyone went through the same thing together. You, know, you went through something for a couple of days that was pretty hard, so it kind of makes you become closer. When you go through adversity, it brings you closer together. It's tough for me, mentally and physically, because I know you are tired. I know those guys have a hard time, but your mind controls everything. You know? If you put your mind, oh, I can do it, I want, nobody stop you. You know, right off the bat, you want to see who's got the heart, who's got the will, who's dedicated, who's determined to get, the, get a spot on this. And everyone finished the workout and on again to the next workout and on again to the next workout. You didn't see these guys quitting. You just couldn't. You couldn't make them give up. It wasn't like one guy out surpassed anyone. It wasn't, it wasn't that at all. They were all really neck at neck. It's just hard. It was hard to, hard decision to make. And really all these guys deserved it, really. Well, I think they're relieved actually because they kind of went through hell and back. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty tough trial. Yeah. We were still arguing about the fifth guy. We didn't know who we were going to give it to. Good friends, good partners, good team. Stay together, gotta train together, gotta learn together. And uh, some very nice guys, very good personality, good character. Outside the door, sometimes more important. And my heart goes out to all of you guys. You guys, man, you guys just came in here, gave it everything, and I couldn't be more proud. And I wish I was rich, you know, so I could say, okay, I take all of you guys, let's go. Let's go get some titles. And today, for those that don't get chosen, this is not uh, the end of the road, you know. You gotta keep going, keep trucking forward, keep, keep plugging away. This is what this, all, this is all about, really. You know, you're gonna have some down times. It's about picking yourself back up and keep moving forward. I get the honors, I guess. But getting right down to it, we'll start with the Muay Thai. Uh, first scholarship for Muay Thai, Kevin Foster. It's a I get to do what I love to do. Yeah, Kevin Foster is a guy that we'd seen before. He actually has trained at Tiger. He was already kind of a favorite coming in, and you know he didn't lose any ground in that race. I'm not technically that good a fighter, but I don't give up. I've got a lot of heart. There's no quitting me, so I've just got to, got to get good at fighting now, that's the only thing. <laughs> Muay Thai is what I love to do. That's basically everyone's dream, to do something that you love doing and make a living out of it. Second Muay Thai scholarship, Dan Frazier. The greatest, uh... It's going to change my life, definitely going to change the next year of my life. I'm going to be in Thailand fighting. I just want to get back to training, get a fight, and 
Start competing. Tough kid. First workout got pushed around by six foot one, lumps and crumb, knees, elbows, kicks. He was getting picked on. Threw a knee up the middle at one stage that split him eight or nine stitches. But he stood and took it all. He impressed us a lot. Earned himself a scholarship on the Muay Thai team. Put some gauze around it and put some gauze around his head and continued on. He never gave up, you know, Dan never gave up. First time I scholarship, Gregory Papa. Я очень рад, что я попал, когда назвали мое имя с бойцов ММА в первый, в первый, в первый. Просто шок был. Но я знал, я уверен в своих силах, потому что я попаду. Но я думал, где-нибудь там последним, как вот, все грустно скажем. Но когда сказали первым, меня аж в пот бросило. Но я надеюсь, что в дальнейшем будем дальше развиваться, тренироваться. И самое главное цель – это попасть на арену UFC. Grigory Popov, I mean, he tried out for both. We could have gave him either scholarship, to be fair. The guys had over 80 Muay Thai fights, or striking-based fights. I can't say exactly what the rules are. When it came down to it, we were more than happy to give him a crack at MMA. He, he said he very much wanted to shift from striking into MMA. Great Muay Thai, great individual, talented, picks up things really quickly. George. It's part of a, a great program like Tiger. The main thing was, you know, I was looking for a way to not work 60 plus hours a week and train also on top of that. Um, I think that I can really chase my dream of ultimately being the best that I can possibly be, but you know, as a goal of being the best in the world in the UFC. George Hickman came out such a slick wrestler. He's exactly the kind of guy that I envisioned when, when I kind of talked to Roger and we kind of came up with this tryout idea. He came out, he already had a very, very mastered skill set in wrestling and we knew it was going to be easy to teach him everything else. George is a talented individual. He can go really, really far in the sport. Amazing wrestler. We really have to choice him. He did really well the, all the, the trial. Oh, yeah. Я очень рад, что я попал в команду Tiger Muay Thai. Скажу вам, что было очень сложно проходить этот отбор, так как все ребята очень физически сильные. Это показали первые дни тренировки по функциональной подготовке. Если технически все очень отличаются, то физически все очень готовы. Я очень рад и счастлив, что сюда попал. Спасибо. Олег Ленечев came all the way from Russia, and we were quite impressed. And then he went out and smashed through the Sankran scramble. Man, he's strong heart, that boy. He got his staff infection. And the first day he started the trail. Man, he's near like him, big, and he don't give up. He went to hospital, he cut it off, and he covered, and he keep training, he keep training, he keep training. And he competed, he did everything. He smiled when you're sparring. He'd rather be nowhere else in the world than at that moment of uh, competing. Bright, bright future for him. Alex Volkovsky. Blown away. I really knew it would be tough. I knew it was tight. There's a lot of guys that uh, I thought they were going to get in as well, but I'm stoked. I'm absolutely honored and I can't wait to do it. I'm proud, but yeah, can't wait to tell everyone. Yeah. You know, a lot of people back me to, to do this back home. I've got a lot of people back home that expecting big things from me and I hope I can do them proud and you know, I want to go as far as I can so and I know that all the coaches here definitely be able to help me do that. He's strong, 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 strong for his size. Such an awesome performance at the Songkran Scramble. He didn't show any weak points all the way through the tryout but I think that really sealed the deal when he was able to get all the way to the finals against George Hickman. After you saw him compete, man, he's very impressed. No, he's having Hard for compete, hard for for fight. Shay Walsh. I was called last. It was horrible. I, I couldn't believe how nervous I was. Obviously, when I got to sit down and think about it a bit more, I just realised what a big opportunity it was, and you know, I was gonna, I was gonna change my career. 
was a lot of hard work, everyone put the work in and uh, just great to see it pay off. I just want to get in now, you know, get training, get fighting. Driven, driven individual, he will be in your face non-stop no matter what. You can throw anything at this kid and he just does not quit. Alright, I'm ready for another round. Shea Walsh, I would have to say, was the surprise of the entire group. I think he just turned a lot of heads. He had a bit of experience, he had a pretty good fight record coming out of England, but when it came to the ground, he really blew us all away. I'm very happy to have those guys there. Oh, yeah, a little bit gutted, you know, but uh, I'm happy for the guys that got it. You know, the guys that got it were really good ones that deserved it, you know, so you can't be, you can't be too down. It was a really good opportunity. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad it came out. I learned some stuff, met some really cool people. Those guys are studs, tons of experience, awesome guys, great training partners, and hopefully definitely some friends I'll have for a while. It's just huge. You know, I'm, uh, I'm still pretty, uh, pretty new and pretty raw at this, so kind of getting away from just wrestling, kind of getting into the fight game. This was, this was huge to, uh, to learn, to get my eyes open, and to get my butt kicked a little too, so it was all worth it. A little frustrating, but at the same point, it, it happens. I'm not too worried. We've been hanging out with all these guys for the last three days, all waiting, so we're all pretty good buddies now. And it happens. It's martial arts is not uh, an everybody wins sport. Nobody can win all the time. I've been at it for a while. I've been doing this since I was a kid, and it's on to the next thing. But in the end, I think we pretty much got a fair assessment of who could do what. We gave away proudly seven scholarships for these guys to come out here, have food, clothing, housing, and free training. And the rest of the guys actually got partial scholarships. And we hope, you know, they're just as much part of the team as the seven scholarship athletes. They're really gonna be able to focus on what they want to do and not what they have to do. I think the level this year was very, very good. As Murilo Busamont was here, he very impressed for the technique of those guys. He very impressed the, the section, the competition, so it was really good this year. I think this one year for, for them, I think those guys gotta grow a lot. It's gotta be the next level. It's definitely life changing. It's, it's life changing for everyone. It's just gonna open up doors. We're gonna help these kids as much as we can to, to help their careers, to, to help them achieve their goals, to chase their dreams, and to accomplish that.